Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be doing some fashion looks for women over 60 going to weddings. And weddings are black tie, garden, afternoon, all kinds of things. So we're gonna be having fun with some stuff out of my closet and hopefully it'll inspire you to look into your closet or maybe purchase a couple of things for wedding season because we get to go in live again for weddings. If this is your first time on the channel, click that subscribe button and like this channel and follow me along on this journey of women over 60 doing all the things. Come on in. Okay, so this first look that I wanna show you is just you're going to a, a winery or an outdoor wedding, kind of a garden wedding. I wanted to get something that was flowy and simple and not too fussy because it's an afternoon wedding and so we're not gonna get too glammed up for that. So I went with this floral maxi dress. You can wear it on the shoulders or off the shoulders. I preferred off because I just thought it looked cuter that way. Two of my favorite places to shop online and I've had some friends reach out and ask me looking for summer dresses. One is Lime Lush and the other one is Balmy, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right and I say that every time, but it is one of my favorite sites. Don't be afraid of, the site looks young. So you have to scan through and just really look at the dresses that would fit you. So obviously we're not gonna be wearing the mini dresses and things like that, or wearing the dresses that show too much or too short kind of thing. But if you just keep scanning through, you can find really good blazers on there. You can find good t-shirts on there and sundresses. I've actually recommended those sites to a few of my friends that are over 50, over 60 and they have found some sundresses that they liked and that is one of those from one of those sites. And all of these looks today are from out of my closet. Some are older clothes, some are newer, and I'm just gonna encourage you to scout things out. Just keep always searching if you're looking for that new outfit to wear to a wedding. Just look at these different sites that I'm gonna recommend to you. You know I'm gonna recommend QVC. <laughs> it's just the hidden gem and you have to just get the app and click back through on your favorite designers from time to time. Now is the time when all of the spring items are coming out and they'll come out with really cute sundresses. There's gonna be a ton of maxi dresses out and I'll try to like tag you on different things. Uh, I'll do different stories and stuff on Instagram when that happens or maybe we'll do a whole nother talk about that on another episode, but you have to keep looking through to find these little gems. So it doesn't just happen, you really have to search it out. So that one dress, I would just keep the jewelry really simple. So I, I found these cute little earrings. I believe this was some earrings from, they're like, these are a couple years old. They're probably from the, the Curator. So uh, these are fun little feathery kind of earrings with a little bit of gold on them. And then I just went with simple jewelry, um, just like a white little bangle and some little pearl bangles and just mixed them together and you'll see that on the video just to keep it light and simple. So again, you don't wanna like bling out when it's the weddings at you know one o'clock in the afternoon or two o'clock in the afternoon and you're not gonna really be going into the evening too much. And if it's a smaller wedding where it's just kind of more intimate, you don't wanna show up. <laughs> looking like, you know, with all your jewels and your black tie outfit, which we'll be showing in a minute. So keep it simple, keep it fun, beautiful, just depending on what the, the day is. And you wanna wear reasonable shoes. So I have the wide heeled shoes on, they're slip-ons, but they're super cute. And I showed that in the episode a while back and they were the Vince Camuto shoes. And those are new on QVC and you can find those and they have different colors. So have fun with that. If you don't like to wear a lot of jewelry, have fun with your shoes and buy colorful shoes. Like do something that pops your outfit a little bit and elevates Okay, it. the next outfit is uh, going in that same direction. Could be a garden wedding, maybe a early evening. So you want something a little comfy, but also going into the evening, which is a black jumpsuit. And I did get this jumpsuit probably two, oh, actually almost three years ago off of QVC and it had different colors. I loved that jumpsuit so much. I bought one in yellow and one in a poppy color, but I end up wearing the black one more often than not for events, weddings, that kind of thing. So I don't even know if they had their own in-house 
design, which was called Du Jour, which we'll tag that. I'm not sure if they're still doing clothes from that line because now they've added a few of the hosts have started another design company called Studio Park. So Geely is one that's in-house. That's um, Jill Martin with Geely. It's got it, love it. So G-I-L-I. They have really cute clothes. They'll they're gonna have maxi dresses, I can tell you that right now. So check that line out. If you get the app on QVC, just check out Geely, see what they have, and keep checking back. But I probably got that jumpsuit for less than $50, and I bought it in three diff two different colors, so three of them all together. And that one's just really great for an in-between. If it's not a black tie, but it may be going into evening, a black jumper and it has pockets you guys who doesn't love pockets pockets and it's a jumpsuit so you're comfortable you're not uncomfortable i paired that with a pair of really thin gold low heel from sam edelman and i have three different pairs of his sandals that are a low heel and they're a little bit of a block but they still look like a regular heel i have it in black i'm i wore the gold with this outfit and then there's a leopard print and so if you go on his website you'll find those kind of low heels where again comfort for us women over 60, it's a must. We can't wear the big heels all the time or some of us not at all. But you don't wanna wear clunky big shoes with a really cute outfit. So this is a way to do it where your feet feel comfortable and you still look really pretty. I paired this with, uh, I was telling my daughter, Joan Rivers made jewelry on QVC and no matter what you think about Joan Rivers, I loved her. She made the best jewelry in the whole world. And I've had these pieces for probably over 10, 15 years and they still work. So if you can find any kind of like a gemstone in different colors, bangle, that is like a super cute thing to wear. I don't remember where I got this one, but again, I just matched these two bangles. I went with a pink theme because we're all in black. And I was like, I don't wanna wear gold or silver. I wanna do something fun. So I matched these two bracelets together. Her little button earrings, which I have in different kinds of shapes and styles, they always work for anything. And then I found this on, I think it was Bobble Bar. That's another website with really cute jewelry. That one in Melinda Maria, you know, is my favorite. This is just more of like a little, you can do it lower, but I did it like a choker. So you'll see that in the video. So it has just a pink, it's just a pink chain necklace, very simple. But when you add a color and burst a color to all black, it just kind of pops your outfit a little bit and elevates it to a different level. So that's what I did with that outfit. This next outfit I just love, and I think you guys will love this too, is who doesn't love sequins? Okay, some of you don't, but the ones who know me know you're my people, you love sequins too. I love anything with sequins. And last year, uh, actually it might've been more than now, I, it's like we lost a whole year with the pandemic. I think it was two years ago, Isaac Mizrahi on QBC came out with these absolutely gorgeous skirts. I'm showing you this one, it's the leopard print, which I love. But I also fell in love with the flower print, which you'll see me modeling here. And that was just such an easy thing for going into if you wanna wear something to a nighttime wedding. It's not quite black tie, although you could probably make it black tie if you added like maybe an amped up top. But this is something I wanted to show you is you can take a plain top with just a little bit of something on it. So what I did is I paired it with a long sleeve. It's a t-shirt guys, but it has a cutout and it's super cute. And I think that it just adds that little bit of glamor to this outfit, but also is gonna keep you warm. It's gonna keep you comfortable if you don't like showing your arms. But the bottom part of this floral skirt was amazing and so, I paired that with Vince Camuto's new knotted slides and it just looked beautiful. And then I paired that with, I believe, these earrings and this bangle. I just kept it really simple. So if you just have 
one, this isn't a time to like layer on a bunch of bangles. Anyone that knows me knows I love bracelets and I always usually pile them on. But during a wedding, I like to let, tone it down and have one good piece of jewelry. And again, both of these pieces I got from the Curator from Rachel Zoe's collection. And they always, I go to these all the time when I'm going somewhere really elegant. It's like, ooh, let me get this really pretty bracelet on and these nice earrings that just really pop the look. And then that way you don't have to add necklaces and a bunch of other stuff. You just keep it very simple. The skirt is gonna be the star of the show. And so whether you pair that with uh, the leopard skirt or the floral skirt, it's just always gonna be a winner. One other option you could do, which is kind of a take on the Sharon Stone at the Emmys long ago, is you could pair those skirts with a white crisp shirt again with some cool earrings or like a really statement necklace and just make it elegant so she did that a long time ago and people just went nuts and zendaya just recently did something like that the chris white shirt probably not at a wedding because you know we don't want to wear white at a wedding but you could do a different colored shirt if you wanted to do like a silk shirt something like that with a maybe matching color with the the rose or the greens or the purples in that skirt with the leopard one you could do like a tan a brown like black maybe a really silky blouse to elevate it a little bit more but just some different ideas to play around with those skirts so even if you had an event to go to you know you could do the white chris shirt at an event just not a wedding because we don't want to upstage the bride although you might upstage her a little bit with that cute skirt <laughs> So those skirts are probably over a couple years old now. So we looked on the website and they weren't available on QVC, but we looked on some other websites and you could get a silky skirt, kind of the same style. So look around like Google silk sequin skirts, straight skirts, midi skirts, that kind of thing. And have fun with that. Go on an adventure and look for some really fun pieces that no one else has. Cause a lot of times people just wear a plain black dress and nothing wrong with that everyone needs a plain black dress, right? But sometimes you just wanna elevate your look a little bit more. This dress was one that I found, it's been over three years and it was uh, from Boston Proper, which is another website that I really, really love. They always have kind of event dresses every year and so you can look on the back pile too of their sales and had the season before, but maybe they still have them on the sale rack and then they always come out with really new ones. But the thing I loved about this one, and I always look for this in clothes, is it's a navy colored plain dress. But here's the details. It's a high-low. It has a little flounce on the bottom. And the perfect piece for this is it has these floral straps with silver sequins on them, which I thought was just so pretty and just stood out a little bit more. Really good for a nighttime wedding and something that you um, just wanna have fun with when you're on the dance floor. So I paired that with silver. And so I did these earrings with that. And then I found these other earrings in my jewelry closet that would have been cute too. So again, find those little pieces of jewelry that kind of pop the outfit. That's the only thing that I would wear with this dress because the floral straps on it just make the outfit so beautiful. You don't wanna take away with putting too much stuff on it. And again, you keep your shoes really simple. So that's gonna be the star of the show or those little flower straps. And also, if you're going into nighttime and you're getting a little colder, this is where I'm gonna recommend finding some really cool faux fur. This is my favorite designer for these kind of jackets is Dennis Basso on QVC. He will never disappoint you. He makes the best trench coats, the best fur coats, the best jackets, bar none. Like I will always buy his stuff. I've had this jacket, I can't even tell you, probably over five years. I wear it and people die over it. They're just like, where did you get that? It's the perfect length. So it's just kind of a shorter little fur jacket that keeps you super warm and it looks beautiful with outfits when you're going to an event or a black tie wedding. You can just pop this on and it's gonna keep you warm. And so his lining is beautifully done. He always has pockets 
He has like the top notch collars that just kind of stand up a little bit. They just look beautiful. And this just feels like a warm hug. It's so soft. And so highly recommend getting something like that. If you're going to a wedding where it's just, it's not necessarily a black tie wedding, but it goes into the evening. Say you have like the blue dress with the, the floral straps or the black jumper that I showed you and you're like, wow, it's getting a little chilly. Like I'm kind of cold. This was something that I got from Cabby, which is a direct sales kind of shop, but I have friends that work for Cabby. And so I saw this and I thought, oh, this is a great jacket, not only for speaking events and things like that, but also weddings when you get a little cold. This reminds me of your husband's tux jacket. <laughs> so it's got that ponty knit though. It has a little stretch to it has a little uh, back detailing with some buttons back there. It fits to your body, but it skims. And so you can just pop this on and just look super chic. And it doesn't have all the bells and whistles. So it's not like black tie where you're wearing the fur coat. You don't wanna do that to an afternoon wedding going into evening. You just wanna wear something that keeps you a little warm. Find a good blazer jacket that's a little more elevated, not a business jacket, but one that has a little something to it. So I loved this one because of the stretch in it. It has really sleek lines. And so I just thought this was really, really pretty for special events and things where, you know, honestly, if you were speaking somewhere, if you're a speaker, you could wear this with a pair of jeans and a cute pair of boots and it would just elevate your look super nice. And so I would wear this with that. The last outfit I'm gonna show you is one that I recently did wear to a very, very black tie event. And we had the most beautiful time at this black tie wedding that we went to in Carmel. And this dress was one of my best purchases because I went on the Rachel Zoe site and I looked for her sales. Now, Rachel Zoe's dresses run anywhere from $500 to $700 on up and they're gorgeous. A lot of the stars and different people wear her dresses, but I can't afford her dresses. But I went on the sale rack and every year she has this amazing sale where you can buy some of those beautiful designer dresses for around $100. So I think I literally spent maybe 110 um, mine have been 130, I'm just around that price, which for me, I'm like, that is a good quality dress. I will spend that kind of money on that dress and we're going to a black tie. So I wanna wear something that is good quality. I'm not gonna just buy something like whatever and throw it on. It's gonna have a little more thought to it. Now this dress is a little risque. So you notice that it's a little low cut and so you wanna make sure you either tape it, it fit, it fit fine on me and so I, it was tight enough where it wasn't, nothing was moving and you have to be able to be comfortable in that. If not, she has other dresses that don't show your cleavage as much but I just thought that was just a really pretty elegant dress with that and then it had the flounce sleeves and then just the way it uh, hit on the bottom, it was sheer on the bottom with that beautiful lining to the floor. And so with that, I just wanted to wear really one spectacular bangle and very, very thin earrings because I just wanted the dress to shine. I didn't want to yuck it up with a bunch of jewelry. And so as you can see, like that was something I just loved being in that dress. And it's something that for me, it fit my personality. So find the dress that really fits you. Don't get something because I got it or someone else got it. And you're like, it doesn't look like that on me. Find the dress that is your comfort zone if you're not comfortable in that kind of a dress. But maybe you see a long sleeve dress on her site and that's good for you, get that because whatever you feel good in is what's gonna make you look good. And that is the biggest lesson I can teach you is don't copycat anyone else. I love wearing things that are a little bit different that are a little bit off the cuff because that's what makes me feel comfortable. The other thing is, is I uh, popped a colored shoe with this outfit and it was fantastic and also comfortable. So they were actually Katy Perry from QVC. 
and they were these silky topped slides and then the heel was a thick block heel so i was comfortable all night long i didn't have my feet didn't hurt i you know I, I could dance on the dance floor in them and they were fine and i just felt comfortable all night and i got a ton of compliments and i just felt really good so i think that's my biggest thing is when you're going to these events when you're going to different weddings have fun with your clothes be comfortable in your clothes and really make it um, shine for you so find that style that makes you feel comfortable and if you have questions and you need to reach out please ask me and i'll see if i can help you find your personal style for your age so that you can still be relevant in this crazy world and feel good about yourself and just have fun with fashion. So that's the end of my uh, wedding day attire. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, leave a message and let me know what else you'd like to see. And until next time, I'll see you later, peeps.